I'm very excited because June is right around the corner and I actually have things to do in June. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, stay with me and we're going to plan all of June. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. At least that's the plan. But you know, as things start to get busier, it gets harder and harder to plan and to keep things organized. So this month is the month of June, and I actually have quite a few things to do in the month of June, which over the last couple of years has been very unusual for me. So what I want to do is take you on uh, my adventures as I go about planning the month of June. Let's jump into the computer and get started because we've got a lot to do. All right, well you see here on this screen, I have the June theme set up. And uh, if you saw my last video on how I downloaded and organized uh, these particular stickers, uh, this coral floral sticker set, as I'm calling it, from Pretty Planner Place. Um, if not, I will link that video up above so that you can go and check it out. But every month I like to create a themed page so that I have all of my stickers readily available that I want to use throughout the month. And this month I have chosen yet again another beautiful set of floral stickers from the Pretty Planner Place. And as you can see here on the screen, there are some decorative stickers. Um, I don't use the date covers or the day covers that come with all of the sticker sets because the um, planner that I'm using this year or that I have used for the first half of this year anyway, is from DCP Digitals and it is a dated yearly calendar. So I don't need the date covers and I don't need uh, the days of the week covers. I just use what's there. Um, and modify as need be. So I didn't add any of those into this theme. She also includes all of the hex codes so that if I want to match my fonts, uh, my text, my uh, table shading, all of that exactly to the planner colors that she has here, it's very easy for me to do because I have the hex codes. So I've copied those here and put them in as well. Now, I do have one uh, sticker here that is not from this set. Um, it's from a different set of hers, but I just love the sentiment. It says, growing through life. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm experiencing this summer. And I just thought it was beautiful. And the colors are close enough for me. I am not that particular about things like that. So let's get started. I have my theme page set up and I think it is beautiful. And in the last video, I also showed you how to take uh, some of these stickers and layer them together to create something like this June header here that I can use on various pages. Uh, so I've taken one, two, three, four stickers, combined them and uh, pasted them as a picture. And so uh, that's what I'm gonna be using on many of my pages this month. All right, let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I have here, uh, if you see in my notebook, you see across the top, I have all of these different tabs. I have a different tab set up for every month of the year. And then I also have some additional tabs for other sections that I want to keep in my planner. But in the year long section, um, there is the entire printout, all X number of hundreds of pages of the um, planner. And what I went ahead and did early in the year was go ahead and copy those into the proper months. So if I jump up to June monthly, you will see that I use this page and this section for some advanced planning. Okay. You can see that I have the monthly calendar here and it still is just a graphic. You can see the dot and dash lines around it. That just means that it's a graphic. And it is for the month of June. And then down below that on the same page, I also have the first week of June, which starts on Monday, uh, May 30th, um, and goes through the second week of June, the third week of June, the fourth week of June, 
and the fifth week of June, which actually runs into the month of July. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, and I just wanted to create one page and leave all of June on one page, that would be fine. Um, in fact, I have uh, considered doing that in the past, uh, but I've kind of gotten in the habit of putting each one of those weeks on a separate page. So I'm going to show you the first one, how I do that, and then I'm going to speed it up and just copy the rest of them. Okay. All right. So what I will do is I will go down here to the first week of June because I want to leave my monthly page on this page titled June Monthly. But I'm going to take this first week of June and because it is set as a graphic, you can see that when I click on this, I can then right click and I can say to cut this page and it goes away. Then I go over here and I say add page. It creates a new untitled page for me. I can say um, it is May, not capitals, it is May 30th through June 5th. And then I can go down here and click paste and that will bring in my graphic there. So we have May 30th through June the 5th. Okay. Now, because it's a graphic, remember I can move it around. I like to bring it up to the top a little bit. So it's kind of in line like that. And I can also make it a little bit bigger. So I like to stretch it out to about the edge of November, like that, okay? So it kind of fits on my page very nicely on my computer screen. You can adjust it to however you like it for yourself, all right? Okay, I am going to right click again, and then I am going to set the picture as a background, and you'll see all those dashed and dotted lines go away, and now I just have my graphic frame there that I can use to do all of my planning on. Okay, let me do the rest of those real quick. Okay, so now I have all of my weeks laid out. So there's the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth. So what I like to do is I like to group all of my weeks together. So I'm gonna come over here and click on the first one. So that's there. And then I'm gonna come down to the bottom, hold down my shift key and press the mouse button again. That highlights all of my pages. Then I can right click and I can say make sub page. And that kind of indents them just a little bit and keeps them all together. So when I glance at this, it's very easy for me to see that all of my weeks are there. You'll see up here at the top, I have another page that my sister and brother-in-law uh, are gonna come and visit this year, maybe. <laughs> Things are kind of up in the air, but we will see. That's really one of my projects that I'm working on this month. I also have some other projects that are coming to the end of this month, and I want to move them forward to this page so it's a little bit easier for me to find them. One of those projects is my yard sale project that was listed here in April. You see it comes right up because I've been working a lot on this project lately, and this page is used over and over again. I started this page way back in uh, April and the yard sale is coming up in June. So I am going to right click and move this page. Uh, when I say move it, it's gonna ask me where I want to move it to. I'm gonna keep it in my 2022 planner, but I'm going to move it to June. I'm gonna say move rather than copy. So when I click move, it goes away. Um, and when I click back on June, it now is there as yard sale project, okay? I can adjust these pages over here on the side, so um, I'm going to adjust the order that they're in. I'm going to grab uh, this page where my sister is coming to visit, and I'm gonna move that down here 
underneath the yard sale project just so I can kind of keep all the projects that I'm working on in order. All right. Uh, now, I also, back to this June monthly page, way up here at the top, I use this for future planning. So during the month of April, May, June, uh, etc., as I have events that come up, I will go ahead and add them. So you see here, I'm already getting a few events coming up. Um, I think if my sister is going to visit, she is going to be here for a couple of days. So I'm going to go over here into June and I'm going to grab uh, one of these pieces of washi tape. Uh, let's pick this green one here and we will copy that and we'll take it back to our June monthly. I'm going to paste over here on the side and I can make this washi tape a little bit longer and a little bit wider and I can grab it and I can put it on the days that I think my sister will be here. Uh, we're not 100% sure. And you know, as everything happens in the last couple of years, things can change at a moment's notice. All right. And then I can also create a text box. Let's go up here and create a text box. And I will put that down here on top of this ribbon. Get that spelled correctly. And let's make it white text because that seems to be easier to read on the dark. Okay. And we will make this washi a little bit bigger. Like that. All right. Now we have that marked off when she's going to visit. So some future planning here. Okay. Um, now let's make it a little bit fancier. We created this title. So we're going to copy that title and we will paste on the side. Why do I paste on the side? Well, I always paste on the side because I don't want things to get shift around. So if I were to paste on top of this and it were to land on top of some of the other graphics or text boxes that I had here, it could very easily get moved around. And, and I don't like that to happen because then I have to spend more time fixing things. All right. I like to paste on the side and then I can move things to where I want them to be. In this case, I'm going to cover up the writing of the word June there with the pretty graphic that I made. Like so. Okay. All right. That looks very nice. Now, you see, I was just adding text over here uh, so that things would, you know, be planned for the future. So if I want to, I can go in here and I can change the color of this text. I can do uh, something that more closely matches, you know, what we've got going on with this color theme. Um, if you want to do that. But remember, I also have those hex codes. All right, so the hex codes that are right here, I could use those specifically if I wanted to. But for now, I think those colors are close enough. Like I said, I'm not really particular about all of that kind of thing. All right, another thing that I have up here is I need to make a note to get my COVID booster. So I'm gonna move that down here um, because we may be doing some traveling my daughter's graduation is coming up so we may be doing some traveling to that and i want to make sure that i get my booster before we get on those planes i'm going to set this to the background so that that is taken care of as well and now this page won't move around as i add more things to it anything else from the june theme let's add a couple of maybe a quote just to make it look pretty. And we'll put this down here in the bottom. Like so. Okay, that looks nicely balanced for now. I'm a very functional planner and I like to add just little pops of color and decoration to make something pretty. Um, and engaging for me to look at, but I do not like to fill my entire 
uh, thing with stickers and all of that kind of stuff because I really need to focus on what I need to do. Okay. All right. Another page that I love to add to every month that I have is my inbox. I'm going to go back here and grab, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I'm going to grab my March inbox. Here's my March inbox page. I'm just going to make a copy of that. So again, I'm going to right click, go down to move or copy. It's going to say, where do you want to move it to? Up here at the top, June was my recent pick. So I'm going to go with that. But instead of moving that page, I'm going to make a copy of it. Now, when I go back to June, my March inbox is there at the bottom. It's got to be at the top for me. So let's push it to the top. And then what I do is I simply go in and clean up all of the stuff from March, get rid of it, delete it. Um, and then I put in the things that I need for June. So let's speed this up while I do some deleting and cleaning up. All right. Now, some of you may have been saying, wait, wait, there are check boxes that weren't filled in. That's okay. They're still on the March page. I was just duplicating them. They haven't gone anywhere and my tag system will find them for me. So I'm not worried about that. All right, let's go ahead and get this page set up. So we're going to take this title, go back and we're going to change this from March inbox to June. Like so let's put that pretty title graphic in there again. Let's put it kind of to the side, I guess. And if I want this on top, right now it's going behind it because it was on the page before I put the title there. If I want it on top, I simply can right click it, go down to the word order and say bring to the front and it is now on top. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, what I like to do on my inbox is I like to keep a list of all of the tags that I use to identify tasks and things on this page so that if I'm using it on my iPad or on my phone, which doesn't necessarily support uh, these tags, uh, that I have them there and everything is tagged as I'm adding it to my list. So let me grab that list of tags. It's right here. So I'm going to copy that. Actually, I will cut that because I don't need it on this page anymore. And again, paste on the side, put it over on my list like so. And the reason that I do this is because if I'm on my phone and I am, I don't know, out and about or out in the yard or something like that. And I think of something that I need to buy. I can bring up this page. I can go to this list and simply under the word to buy, I can hit return and I can say, um, what I need to buy. So in this case, let's say it's a watering can and you notice there that it still puts the same color for the to buy item and the tag is a to buy item. Maybe I think of somebody that I need to call. Um, maybe I need to call my sister about, you know, flight information or something like that. You see that the text stays the same and the tag to call or to uh, text comes up correctly. Okay. All right. So that's why I put this little list of my tags there because currently the iPad app for OneNote and the Android phone does not support me having all of these additional tags that I create on my desktop, which makes my life so much easier. Okay. Now, uh, lots of times I will put a little box section over here. Sometimes the theme comes with a long box. Let's see if this theme came with a long box. Uh, let's see. I like this green one, so I am going to copy it. I'm going to take it back to my inbox. I'm going to get rid of this box that I drew and delete that. Paste on the side my small box and I can make it as big as I'd like. If I want to just make it longer, I can do that. 
like so. Okay, great. I think that looks great. Now, the inbox is a place where I dump everything. If I uh, get a note from somebody, uh, if I think of a new book that I want to read, if I have a recipe that I want to try, any of those kinds of things goes right into my inbox and notes. And then when I do my weekly review every week, I go through and I sort through the stuff that has showed up in my inbox and I put it in its appropriate place, okay? All right, so I have my monthly, I have my inbox, I have a health and habits a tracker that I use every month. I'm just gonna go to my May habit tracker, copy that in, clean it up, and it will be ready to go. All right, I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, now that I have this cleaned up, we are gonna get it set up for June. So we'll go back to our theme. We will pick this. And I really liked having that uh, little pop of the washi tape there. So I'm also gonna pick up that green washi tape. We're gonna copy both of those. We'll go back to our habit tracker. Paste on the side. So there's our title. And you can see that our font color does not work. So let's change that. And then we're going to take this little teeny tiny piece of washi tape and we will make it bigger and put that in place. It looks like the thunderstorms are rolling in, so if you can hear thunder in the background, I apologize. I can make that go all the way across the whole page, like so, and like so. All right. Now, if I want to and uh, get real particular, I can go through and highlight these titles at the top and change that font color as well. Like that. Make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. There you go. There is my health and habit tracker for the month of June. And you can see it's just basically um, things that I get off of my Garmin watch for uh, tracking my health, my steps, all of that kind of thing. Again, we're going back to May, to the May dashboard. We're going to copy that page and move it forward. We're going to take it into June, make a copy of it. Back to June, there's our dashboard, but instead of May, it will be June. My dashboard is really just a place where I store all the pertinent information for this month, uh, things that I'm working on, um, projects that I might be working on, uh, special dates that are coming up for the month. So we will get rid of those. Here are links to all of my uh, special pages that I need, what I need to do in the garden, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I like to keep this page handy. Um, it's getting darker and scarier outside. <laughs> you can tell, look how dark the house looks. Anyway. Uh, I will set this page up off camera <laughs> because um, usually this page takes one of the longest amounts of time to set up. For my June habit tracker, I do like to have a link back to my monthly dashboard page. So I'm going to edit this link. I am going to say, go to my June dashboard. Okay, and then when I click on my link, it will take me back to my June dashboard, which I need to clean up. I just got a weather forecast from my weather husband, whether or not I should finish this video. <laughs> 
Okay, so quick review. We have our uh, June inbox set up and that's where I store any thoughts that come to my head, uh, any notes that I need to take. We also have our June dashboard set up partially. Um, we have our June monthly set up and we have our weeks set up no decorations yet, but we will get to that part soon. All right. We also moved in our uh, projects that we're working on and we have our June habit tracker, which we need to move up to the top. Okay. So I have like five monthly pages that I do every month that are most important to me. Uh, the other one that is not on here at the moment is my meal planning page. As I am getting these weekly pages ready, I will share them over on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please look for me over there. I am at Crystal Clear Life 21 on Instagram and on Facebook. So I will share those weekly pages in both places there uh, if you would like to see them. In the meantime, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. And now I'm going to wait for the storm to come. <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you later. Okay, bye.